Welcome back to the hour. Now, legendary rockers, the Stranglers, are on their European tour. They're playing tonight at the Edge Festival in Edinburgh, and we're absolutely delighted that Jean Jacques and Baz join us in the studio now. Martin. Jean Jacques. Martin. Oh, for goodness' sake! <laughs> I love the way you say it. And <laughs> your parents. Baz, will we leave the room? <laughs> Where's the book? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's brilliant to have you here. You're playing Forget Edinburgh. Those, Forget them. It's, it's all about Jean Jacques and me. And Martel. <laughs> you're playing to, in Edinburgh tonight. Yeah, yeah. And um, you have a bit of form in Edinburgh. I hope you're not going to get yourself put in the jail. No, no, tonight. no. We can't afford to. We've got to fly out tomorrow at five in the morning. But uh, and they don't release you till about eight, I think. If I recall. <laughs> so you've got to be good. But tell us the story, if well, you can, about how you got in trouble in Scotland. Well. <laughs> Well, actually, we haven't been... This is our first time in Edinburgh for 18 years because before that, we used to play the Playhouse and it got completely trashed uh, one night and we never got invited back. <laughs> is that when all the seats were ripped <laughs> out? Yeah, that's right, yeah. So but, you were banned from there? Yeah, but Edinburgh, no, we haven't, had any, we haven't spent any sort of nights at other people's, um, you know, <laughs> leisure. Her Majesty's uh, pleasure. Her Majesty's pleasure. But uh, Glasgow, yeah, Strathclyde. No. But it was in the years uh, when they had strange licensing laws here. Yeah. You had about an hour to drink as much as you could on a Saturday night. Ah. What about the time yes. when I heard there's a, one of my colleagues come up to say, ask them about the time in Glasgow at the, I think it was the pavilion, where you came on on a motorbike and the fire alarm went off? Uh, yeah, I did, yeah, I did. Well, I did have a motorcycle on stage yeah. and I think it was before the, the tyranny of um, health and safety in yeah. all those days. And, and it did, yeah, it did. So no motorbikes tonight? No. 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 Can't Three wheel a trike. A trike. So it would be fair to say you guys, well, you always were a bit wild, still are, but do you think you've calmed down over the years? Have you had to? Could you sort of sustain that level of madness? Um, no, I don't think you could, could you really? Sort of, uh, you know, and you get older, you, you, know, you, you have different interests. You know, you give up on girls and you read books. Yeah. I think you still, want to be, you still want to be mad in your head, I think, but, uh, you know, the brain well, is pants, telling you about the... But that's about all you just go on a cup of tea and that's some cork roll, you know, that'll do. But as you joined in 2000, is that right? Did yes. you join as the madness had kind of gone down, down the pan already? Yeah, but then we... <laughs> we <laughs> <laughs> madness had gone down the pan. I don't think they're going to be too happy about that, <laughs> are they? Oh, you, oh, I see what you mean. Um, uh, well, no, it was, still it was still pretty wild, but then it's... Yeah. yeah, it was almost ten years ago that you joined Baz, but do you still feel like the new boy? It's like Ronnie Wood in the Stones. He's been there for so long, but he's always the new guy. Do you feel like sometimes, that? Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes less, a lot less often than I used to. We like to remind him that. He's oh yeah, I'm always reminded. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm at the end of the queue for everything, and we're we're down in the pecking order when do it comes to. You have to make to the tea. So, yeah, I still make the tea. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm from the north, you say, I'm the only one that can make tea. <laughs> it's all soft southern shandy drinking stuff that this lot drink. Yeah. I have to ask oh, you Gray. about Jet. How is Jet doing? Because he's not he's been fine. very well recently, is that right? Well, he's, he's had continuous health problems for, for so years. So Jet's the drummer, isn't he? Jet's, yeah. Jet Black's our drummer, yeah. yeah. Most of the time. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, occasionally he, he, just can't, he just can't perform because of, of his health, yeah. But it's an ongoing thing. I mean, this time last year was on um, life support, mm. so um, so he's he's here tonight. It's he's here in yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And he's, he's, tonight, he's 71 yeah. years old, isn't he? I know. Yeah. 71. And it would yeah. be great to see you guys play. I know it's a bit of a, not a sore point, but you've never played at Glastonbury. <laughs> and there's a big history behind that, isn't there? <laughs> well, we're kind of, I'm not sure if it's, it's technically, uh, we're banned, but um, uh, Mr. Evis uh, has his reasons for not... Um, booking us at Glastonbury and I think it's a, become a badge of honour with us because we're the only band who's never played Glastonbury <laughs> so. If he picked up the phone and he said guys I really want you to play at next year's Glastonbury would you do it? It would have to be a committee meeting I think. Yeah. I think yeah, we should sure. start a committee meeting. Yeah, yeah. I would think about it. Yeah. <laughs> you think yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah. See what else you've Make got. Make the blood sweat for a while. <laughs> you did loads of other festivals. I mean, you did Teen the Park last year. Yeah, which was fantastic. Yeah, it's a good festival, isn't yeah, it? It is a great festival. Good vibe. It's a nice and, crowd. Uh, yeah. yeah. And you're off to Greece for a festival tomorrow, yeah? Tomorrow morning at uh, five in the morning. We're playing. We've got three flights to get to a place called Samos, which is just off the Turkish coast. Yeah. And that's the biggest festival in the Aegean. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. nice weather there. Busy. Yeah. What kind of, when you look out to your fans, what kind of fans are out there now? <laughs> Who do you see? 
Well, there's some um, aging monsters, <laughs> and, uh, and there are also a lot of, I have to say, there are a lot of teenagers checking us out these days. Yeah. Um, well, because of the internet, I think folk can go on and just listen yeah. and hear if they like it, and then yeah. buy it. So it's a whole new audience, isn't it? It's yeah. extremely varied. It's extremely yeah. varied. They can and access sometimes information yeah. much easier now. Yeah. 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 You're looking yeah. out the front, and there's a huge cross section. And of course, some of these blokes and women and whatever, they bring their children there as well. So yeah. all of a sudden, you've got um, you know, 13, 14 year old teenagers, and they're all watching bad things, examples, really. The parents yeah. are saying yeah, really terrible. bad examples. Oh, <laughs> not at all. Listen, guys, good luck for the gig tonight and over in Greece. Thank Thanks so much you. for coming on the sofa. It's been Thank great. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, I know Martin. a lot of big oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> <laughs> Later. Martin. We're not done with you yet, of course, because <laughs> you are going to be playing us out at the end of the show. Strange Little Girl, that's what you're going to be playing. Before that, though, here's what's coming up next week on The Hour. Next week on The Hour, Michelle Watt takes the reins of co-host for the week. We'll be meeting Susan Boyle's brother. He's talking about his new record label. The legend that is Brian Cox will be cooking with us. And at the end of the week, we're live from the world's biggest arts festival. Look out viewers, Lionel Blair, the Lady Boys of Bangkok, plus so much more. Well, that's it for the show today. For the week, in fact, thanks very much, Martel. It's been great having you here. Have you had fun? Yeah, well, this is my last day. Nobody told me. <gasps> I thought I was staying. No, I didn't. I've had a fantastic <laughs> time. Good, yeah. Thank you for having me. It's been great. Join us next week when Stephen will be back with guest presenter Michelle Watt. And now, here are the Stranglers. One day See a strange little girl look at you One day See a strange little girl smiling blue She'd run to the town one day Leaving home and her country fair Just beware When you're there Strange little girl She didn't know how to live in a town that was rough It didn't take long before she knew she'd had enough Walking home in her wrapped up world she survived, but she's feeling old Cause she found All things cold Strange little girl, where are you going? Strange little girl, where are you going? Do you know where you could be going? She survived, but she's feeling old Cause she found All things cold Strange little girl, where are you going? Strange little girl, where are you going? Do you know where you could be going? Strange little 